Let's talk about the energy themes for September 2024. So the first theme is committing and returning to presence. So presence, being in the present moment, the power of the present moment, the gift of the present moment is something that I've been getting quite a lot recently from the, the Pleiadians and I've just been feeling that um, importance to really nurture the present moment. Recently, I've shared this on my Instagram Pleiadian channel. In case you don't know, I have an Instagram um, where I post Pleiadian messages daily. And this one was really um, interesting because they say that the gift of the present moment, that's where the, the potential for fulfilled and content life lies. And I love that because it's just that reminder that everything that we have is in the present moment, even though we might plan things or sometimes worry about the future or dwell on the past. Really, the more present we can be with whatever is happening, the more that we can love what is in this present moment, whether you're feeling angry, sad, grieving, or joyful, happy, or nothing, just stable. They're all valid states, and it's all about returning to that presence. And it's funny because even though I've been getting these messages and sharing these messages over the last maybe couple days or three days, I've actually been experiencing a little bit of anxiety, and I, I hardly ever experienced this. But it's just little things like thinking about what I'm what I have to do or wondering if I did if I sent that email if I locked the door little moments like this that really just take me out of the present moment and that's why I wrote committing and returning to presence because it's really about returning to presence and committing to be in the present moment when your mind wanders off and these are opportunities these moments little moments of anxiety or worrying about the future these are opportunities for us to commit to the present moment and return to the present moment so a little prompt that i offer you so that you can reflect and maybe write um, in journal um, what are some of the practical actions that you can take on your day-to-day -day life to become more present and to become more mindful. You can make a list of those things and check that list from time to time as an extra reminder. The next theme is that there is a deeper resonance within you. There's a deeper resonance within you. And if you've been here for a while, if you've been watching my videos and following my content, you know that I often talk about resonance, that hard resonance, right? And so I feel that more and more we are becoming more aware of what resonates with us and what doesn't resonate with us. And so there's a deeper resonance in the messages that you hear, in what you consume, whether we're talking about messages on Instagram or videos on YouTube or whatever it is that you consume or whatever it is that you hear also from teachers, from um, other people in your life. And also there's a deeper re resonance in what you are and who you are and who you are becoming as well. There is a sense of, I know who I am. I know my frequency. I can understand more that language of energy. And there's also a wider vision of what and who no longer resonates. So maybe in the past you didn't have that awareness of energy and now you're just expanding that awareness and you're really learning how that language of energy, of subtle energies work. So a little prompt is to tune into your body intelligence. Our bodies are very, very intelligent and there's a divine intelligence within our bodies. So 
tune into your body, notice any sensations in your body when you are reading something, when you're watching things, and when you are when you are with other people. And that's not even to say that when you don't resonate with something or someone, that's not to say that they're wrong or there's anything bad about the, the the product or the people it's just that it doesn't resonate with where you are it might resonate in a couple of weeks in a couple of years but in this moment it just doesn't resonate and it's okay and also tune into your intuition notice those first thoughts that pop up those first feelings and that inner knowing don't doubt when you have those first thoughts those first feelings Trust your intuition. It is that deeper resonance that's becoming more and more vivid within you. The next theme is that there is the new paradigm is becoming clearer and more common. So I'll tell you what I mean by this. We are um, co-creating a new paradigm, the new earth, 5D, whatever it is that resonates with you. And so we're entering a phase where this new paradigm is becoming clearer, at least in the in the near future. It's becoming clearer and it's becoming more common for yourself first, right? Because when we're talking about reality and, and the world, we're actually talking about our perspective of reality, our inner reality, because our inner reality is a reflection right and so because this new paradigm is becoming clearer and you're and more it's more usual to you it's more common to you then that's also a reflection in the collective so things that perhaps in the past you didn't resonate with so that's this theme is very much related to the previous one are now making more sense to you or you're just used to it it doesn't feel like it's a struggle anymore a little prompt for you is what are some of the things in your life and in your awareness in your reality in your perspective or even your perspective of reality that have drastically changed compared to the old you from let's say five or ten years ago so this is a really nice prompt that i encourage you to uh, just do a little bit of journaling um just think about i know we're talking about being in the present moment but you know the past is data for us so it's absolutely okay to you know look at the past and and see yourself uh, changing from you know five to ten years ago and that is an indicative of this paradigm shift because as you know the new earth is you 5d new earth is you we are the change makers we are co-creating that new reality that has no template and that has no standard and so we are co-creating this new standard this new template and this new paradigm there's new fire being ignited within you and this is actually a message from our last channeling session that i actually posted that part on youtube so in case you're watching this on youtube you can go back a couple of um, videos and you find that um, message. I can actually post uh, a card here. But I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to share and go a little bit deeper on this concept of the new fire because it feels like there's a new cycle and there's just new inspiration. There's new motivation within you. And maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't know what it is, but it's just the feeling, right? And whenever there's fire, there's always that initial sparkle. So maybe you're feeling that initial sparkle, you don't really know what it is, but you feel like there's this new fire that can uh, be expanded, okay, that can be ignited. Um, it can also be um, expressed in a new dream that perhaps you are coming into that awareness that you, you know, your dreams are changing. You have a new dream um, or maybe it's the same dream, but from a different perspective, right? You're, you're gaining more awareness around your life, around this reality. And so as you evolve, your dreams evolve as well. 
can be a new project that you're excited about, or it could simply be that you're sensing a new timeline. You're sensing a new timeline. There's always a new timeline, by the way. <laughs> but it's just that you're sensing that, yes, there's something else that's coming. You don't know what it is, but there is a new timeline that's on the horizon and it's not that far. Okay, so that's the new fire that's within you and that's being ignited. The closer you're getting to that new timeline, to that um, new timeline in the horizon, then the, the, the bigger that fire becomes. And so a prompt is follow the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance is something that Abraham Higgs, if, you, if you're familiar with their channelings, they talk a lot about it. I actually also have a video on YouTube that I talked about the path of least resistance. I'll, I'll link in the description or in the card. And the path of least resistance is basically, uh, it's not necessarily the easiest path, but it's the path that brings you joy. Okay, so this is a question. These two questions are questions that you can often ask yourself. What brings me joy? And what does my heart really desire? Check in with yourself every now and then. What brings you joy and what does your heart really desire? And that is the path of least resistance. Okay, and this is this is the way that you can make sure that that sparkle, that new fire doesn't burn, doesn't blow off. And an affirmation is I trust and I surrender while taking inspired action. So that's a, 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 a good balance to trust and surrender to the process. But also it's important to take inspired action, to make choices that are aligned with your heart's desire. And lastly, we have a lunar eclipse this month between the 17th and the 18th. We also have the equinox on the 22nd. So it's fall for the people in the Northern Hemisphere and it's spring um, for me in, in the Southern Hemisphere. This, as usual, you know, eclipse season and changes of seasons, they are great, a great, it is a great time for letting go, letting go of old patterns and make way for healthier dynamics. I feel like, especially when it comes to relationships and connections in general in your life, this is this is the thing that I'm feeling. It's not based on astrology. It's just based on channeling and intuition. But this is what I'm feeling for this month and for this eclipse and equinox season. So there's a sense also of karmic cycles being complete and new opportunities for growth and deeper connections will emerge. Okay, so it, it could be specifically for relationships, but it could also be something else in your life that you're just feeling like there's a karmic cycle that's being complete, uh, because that's the nature of the evolution of consciousness. We go through cycles, and um, I do feel that September, especially, you know, the second part of the this year, there are a lot of karmic cycles that are being complete and this brings new opportunities for your evolution and deeper connections and connections that feel more aligned with where you are and again that resonate with where you are with your own frequency and a prompt it's just to do a simple eclipse equinox ritual by journaling again the things that you're ready to let go I know that it's kind of the same, uh, the same theme, right? When we have eclipses and equinoxes and solstices, but that's because, again, that's the nature of the evolution of consciousness. That's the nature of your evolution. So it's always really a, a great ritual to do this. Write down the things that you're ready to let go that no longer serves you, that is not in alignment with who you are right now because you're changing, and the things that you want to invite in in your life that you want to manifest in this cycle which can be the same thing but maybe just from a different perspective so these are the themes committing and returning to presence deeper resonance within you 
the new paradigm becoming clearer and more common and there's a new fire being ignited within you and the lunar eclipse equinox themes of letting go and karmic cycles being complete so i'd love to hear from you which one of these or which ones of these have resonated uh, the most within you today this month let me know in the chat box or in the comments if you're watching this on youtube um, which one has resonated the most with you this month